Hello and welcome to a quick review of the SSTU mod from Shadow Mage. Now this is a low part solution. Essentially there is so many craft in this it's ridiculous and there hasn't been a lot of uh, pictures and things about it on the forums aside from the main thread. So I thought I would do a quick review so that people can see exactly how good it is. And I'm starting off here with the Apollo craft. What you saw just there was the launch escape system. And then this is just a basic sort of throw together of the of an equivalent Apollo. Um, I'm not staging it correctly because I'm just doing this as a demonstration. But there goes the launch escape system. You can see the Apollo craft at the front. I had a little two-person lander behind it. Yeah, it shouldn't come off of that petal just yet, but... So the docking ports on this mod have the ability to dock to the small and medium-sized docking ports. Um, the only thing that are, that's on this craft, this lander that you can see, that's not part of the mod are the legs and the engines. Everything else is part of the mod, and that's actually just two pieces for the mod, the tank below and this little craft here. Um, the entire point of this is to provide low part solutions for people with lower end computers and things like that so you can get the same experience. I use it in mine even though I run a lot of mods at the same time, but I think this is absolutely brilliant. Um, so that's a quick run through of the Apollo there, but there's a few others in this mod to show. Here we have the equivalent to the Soyuz, that's just the launch escape system again. So just a little lander craft, integrated parachute as well. Nice and simple systems. There you go, the Soyuz in orbit, so that's just getting rid of the launch escape system. It does have a jettison, but I didn't activate it correctly. Once ferns are off. So this that you're looking at right now is three parts. You have the orbital module, the descent module, and the engine module. So it's just three parts, it's a nice and simple solution. And then just like the Soyuz for the return, you've just got this little lithobreaking breaking bullet. And it's got integrated drogue chute and main parachute. And there you go. So one of the next ones is the shuttle. Now with the exception of the clamps, this is all um, part of the main thing. Yes, I know I'm crashing, but I thought I'd keep it in because it was funny. There you go, successful landing at least. So this is once I've actually managed to route the fuel correctly. So just like standard shuttle, you've got two boosters on the side, then your main engines. The flaring that you can see there, in case you're worried about it, is actually just a problem with my keyboard that I still haven't sorted out. Which is causing me the issues. And here is just a glimpse of one of the other things. There's a few station parts in this game. Um, and they're brilliant, I absolutely love them. Again, low cost solutions, but they do look an awful lot like the International Space Station. So, this is just my quick little mock up of the ISS. And there you can see a Soyuz and an orbital module. A lot of orbital modules connected together, and then the big rotating solar panels. Now, in the cargo, what you can actually see as well, there's a little retracting bay there so the main space plane there's two bodies for it one with engines one without there is your wings your flaps and your main body and there i was just jettisoning one of the inflatable modules and some tanks that come with this mod as well so there is inflatable space modules um, station modules they use rocket parts to inflate and it doesn't change if you have MKS in, so it still needs a rocket parts, which if you know how to do module manager patches, that shouldn't be a problem. And now on to the, one of the last ones, the Orion. So this is your model of what looks to be the Boeing Orion. So it's a six person capsule. Again, just a launch escape system. And then your basic rocket. Now the tanks are scalable. There is basically one tank. Um, and it's scalable to all different sizes with nose caps and end caps. There's several different engines, launch escape systems for each thing. And as you can see here, there's a back. There's three versions of this propulsion unit at the back. Um, two with engines, one without. They're all scalable again. 
and then the Orion module. And again, this has its own drug shoots and main parachutes. So there's the drug shoots. And again, this is just a brilliant mod. Low parts, nice and easy to run for anybody. Um, it doesn't require much. You don't really need to use stock with the exception of legs. I use a couple of stock engines on mine. That's just the inside of this particular one. And then we have three versions of the landers. So this middle one here is a two person. Just a little gravity act to show you what it's like. And that's just with a spark engine I believe it is on the bottom. So fairly nice and simple, maybe a bit too strong. Here's the three person of the exact same one and I messed up the staging. And then this is a six person the heavy lander. Uh, I absolutely love these. The other problem is the shuttle and these landers don't have life support sorted yet, at least for TAC life support, which is one I use. I believe that they do work for USI life support and I have no idea about snacks. But yeah, nice simple systems, integrated fuel. So if you like that, give it a look. It is brilliant.